today we are taking you inside the Toadstool Cafe and located inside of Universal Studios Hollywood. We're about to go to the Toadstool Cafe. We're going to check out all the Super Nintendo inspired foods. It's great to know this cute mushroom shaped restaurant has so many Super Mario inspired food that it should make any Nintendo fan happy with joy. There's a lot of food. It'll be so much fun showing you around the restaurant and looking out into the Mushroom Kingdom through the digital windows. It's going to be a one-up experience, so why don't you join us today on this Magic Journeys. Chef Toad invited us to the Mushroom Kingdom to try this new uh, menu. Yes, he did. There's a lot of food, so we're going to try our best to try most of them. Through the window, you're going to see him making some tasty dishes. Something that would make anyone excited to dine at this restaurant. Look at the desserts. So cute. Yeah, block tiramisu. They have the Princess Peach Cupcake. I love that it's like themed food. They need a lot of that in Universal yeah. Studios. And they also have a piranha plant caprese. Ooh. And this is what I'm excited for. The Toadstool Cheesy Garlic Knots. That's what I need to try. I'm actually excited for Luigi Pesto Grilled Chicken Sandwich. That looks I yummy. think we need to get it. This is so exciting. <laughs> I know. My stomach has been rumbling all day because we have not eaten. We ordered a lot, you guys. Yeah, we did. So once you walk over to the podium, they actually grab your tray and they walk you over to your table, which is really nice. And we got lucky. We got a nice view of Mushroom Kingdom right next to us. Yeah. That's so cute. And then they give you a little placard like this. And they, like, I think somehow they know where your table is. Yeah, there's some really kind of technology in that plaque yeah. that tells them where your food goes. But I feel like royalty right now. Like, we're in the Mushroom Kingdom. They sure know how to take care of people. <laughs> oh my God. While you wait for our other food, we actually have one of the items here. It's a superstar lemon squash. It's a honey lemon soda with mango stars and assorted tropical boba. But look how pretty. <laughs> Very pretty. Okay, I think we should just mix it. Put that boba in there. I'm so excited. Woo! Oh, this is so refreshing. The tropical bobas are delicious. They're like popping in your mouth but they're so full of flavor. And then you have like little pieces of mango on top. This is a must drink. Let me try this. Oh. Oh. Bubbles is popping in your mouth. <laughs> it kind of tastes like peach. Does it? Yeah, a little, bit. a little hint of like honey and like a little bit of lemon but I can definitely taste the tropical boba. Yeah and it's very carbonated I'll yeah. tell you that. So it's really a lot of fun. Look at that, it's so colorful. <laughs> I would definitely get this again, especially like on a hot day. I'd walk around with one of these, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm coming back for one of those again. This restaurant really comes to life with everything Super Mario. From bright green warp pipes, power-ups, and a big Super Mushroom power-up as its centerpiece. It's a colorful, fun place with a hand-carved appearance. Something that'll make you feel warm and right at home. Bowser's in the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh no, poor little mushrooms. Not cool. Over here you can kind of see like the kitchen, like, you see it? Yeah, they all ran out of the kitchen. Oh no. Uh-oh. That's why our food is taking a little longer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking cover from Bowser and his villainy. <laughs> if you come over to the Toadstool Cafe, try to ask to see maybe they can sit next to the window because I just love staring into this. It's so much fun. All right. That's Luigi. That's Luigi. Wow. Superstar. Ooh, superstar chicken salad. The infamous tiramisu. Ooh. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, so right here we have spaghetti with mushrooms, marinara sauce, meatball, fire flour, parmesan crisp, shaved with parmesan and chopped parsley. Now this is the fire flour spaghetti and meatball. It's, <laughs> it's a mouthful, guys. It looks very pretty. All the food here looks phenomenal, I'll tell you that. It looks very pretty and it's all very Super Nintendo, Super Mario inspired. I love it, guys. I can't wait to try this. Let's try the spaghetti first. Let's see if it's good. We're trying all these foods, so you don't have to. We'll let you know what's good and what's not, but if you guys really want to help us out, just don't forget to subscribe. We really appreciate it if you guys did, but here we go. Let's try the spaghetti. It's got a kick. And that is why it's called the fiery spaghetti and meatballs because it does have a fiery kick. <laughs> sure. uh, the tomato sauce is a little watery, which I prefer a little bit more of a, of a denser pasta sauce. But overall, the tomato is good. It's robust. Uh, the meatballs, I did try them. 
and even though I do like them, they're a little on the bland side, but they also have a little kick because of the sauce. And overall, it's, it's pretty good. It's a uh, chef's toad spaghetti, come on. <laughs> and I do like the Parmesan, and look at this. You got a little power flower there. Kind of like Mauro, you know when he shoots the little fireballs? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I think those are the, why the meatballs are there, because of the, the three meatballs. Yeah. Yeah. The little fireballs. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. I got the flower power. But yeah, it, it's going to burn your mouth. So just letting you know, if you do not lock, uh, if you don't like spicy stuff, it's a little hot. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try out the Luigi Burger. It's a pesto grilled chicken sandwich. It has Swiss cheese, and it's all served on brioche bun, and it has some basil pesto. From what I can see, it looks like it has a huge bell pepper in there. Wow. Right? For that extra crunch. Two big oh my pieces goodness. of bell pepper in there. Yeah. And when I got this dish, I smelled like I smelled like truffle and I realized on the menu it says truffle fries. So they're getting fancy here. Oh. Mr. Toad is getting fancy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this little hat off. Cause I don't wanna stab myself. That little hat is a is a toothpick. It is, right? Like I want one of these. Where can you buy these? I have no They're idea. So cute. I'm taking that home. Yeah. <laughs> or I don't think we should take it home. I don't, do we take this home? Yeah, you can take it home, right? I don't know. I'm I'm not going to. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> okay. Well, let's not take it home then. <laughs> so here. <laughs> Add a little bit more pesto, you can tell. There we go. Got a little mustache on the bun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, this is a good sandwich. I'm actually really happy that the sandwich is really good. I love the extra crunch on the bell pepper. The chicken's a little dry, but the good thing is that they give you a little side of pesto and it kind of does help out reduce or the, the chicken. <laughs> it moistens the chicken a little yeah, bit. Nice. It's so good, you guys. I want to take five of these home with me. I want to know the recipe. Mr. Toad, can I work for you? I don't know. There's a secret. I ain't going to tell you. I know, right? Unless you want to live here in the Mushroom Kingdom. I, that's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. He'll, he'll, I want to uh, the Mushroom Kingdom. I'm like, I want to go into the kitchen with Chef Toad and mm. have him teach me how to cook. So you're at the Tulsa Cafe. Do not miss out on the chicken sandwich because it is a must. Okay, so right over here we have the Mario Burger. Now this is all beef patty, bacon, mushrooms, lettuce, tomato, and American cheese served on a brioche bun served with truffle fries. Now, truffle fries, you're gonna get them here because at the uh, Toadstool's Cafe, you know, we're, we're getting fancy, okay? Mr. <laughs> Mr. Um, Toadstool loves his truffles. Chef Toad. <laughs> okay, let's grab this. Whoa, that's a big burger, look at that. And it also has a little a mustache. mustache right on top and Mario's hat. Okay, before I leave, I'm gonna ask if you can take these home because that's awesome. I could put that on a sandwich. I know. You know? I'll ask him, I'll ask him. Cause I don't know, maybe you're not supposed to take them home. All right, let's try this out. Look at that patty, it's huge. Okay, here we go guys. I really enjoy this burger. And I do like the patty. It has that nice charbroiled taste. It's not like Krusty Burgers. Krusty Burgers sometimes can be on the bland side. This one's actually a lot better. It's much more improved. The lettuce is good. It's delicious, and I'd definitely get it again. Also, they got these delicious looking garlic knots. Now, these are called the Toasto Garlic Knots, as garlic butter, as Parmesan cheese, parsley, and just marinara sauce. And you guys, I'm making this for sure because of mushrooms. <laughs> now, I think it's just time to like just dig in, right? Yeah. Mm. They smell so good. Wow. Like when they dropped them off, it just smelled like Parmesan and garlic. Mm -hmm. Wow. These with your spaghetti are definitely going to be a must. You have that garlic, you have that Parmesan, amazing ingredients put together. The knots itself are nice and soft and warm. Now you are going to get a little messy because of all the Parmesan. You might smell like Parmesan cheese all day, but that's fine. You just smell yummy. <laughs> Okay, so I also got the piranha plant caprese. It has tomatoes, asparagus, fresh mozzarella, basil pesto, mixed greens, shaved radish, and apple vinaigrette. Oh my gosh, look at the little piranha. You can see it. I gotta open it up. I can, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, it might take a bite. <laughs> let's, put, let's get some of this mozzarella. Ooh. Some of this tomato. I know 
don't know. I feel like it's just like a, like a huge tomato is like served to you with one asparagus and a little side of. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my. And then you opinion. also have that dressing right there. I do. I'm gonna change everything up. Some yeah. Once mushrooms. you mix it up and you put some dressing, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Because I feel like the other salad that you got, which we're gonna show right now, is more like. There's more to it, you, you know go. what I mean? I mean, they're gonna give you a very nice presentation, yes. but once you get it, you're, you're technically supposed to mix it. <laughs> That's true. Here you go, I'm gonna try everything now. That apple vinaigrette dressing, I want it um, for my own like household. Like, I wish they can sell that. It's so yummy. Hey, you never know. One day you'll walk outside and they'll have universal like bottles of uh, Mr. Of vinaigrette. Toad's, Mr. Toad's famous apple vinaigrette. There you go. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you pair the apple vinaigrette with the mozzarella and the tomato and like the radishes and the asparagus. All of it blends well together. Without it, it's kind of underwhelming. So add the apple vinaigrette. You won't regret it. All right, so this is a superstar chicken salad. And this is gonna have romaine and cabbage mix, grape tomatoes and mushrooms tossed and creamy mushroom truffle dressing topped with Parmesan superstar croutons and grilled chicken. Now this is a very pretty salad. But uh, unlike yours, the dressing is already mixed in. I don't have to go in and, and put it on. So let's try this out. Let's see what it's like. But look at this. It's a cute little star. It's a little star, and there's star croutons on this salad. Look, I think if I was still a kid and I came here and mom and dad gave me a salad like this, I probably would have ate it because <laughs> yeah. it's a superstar salad, and, and that's what makes it really fun. Cool. Right? Yeah. That's how they would have gotten me to eat my salad, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get some chicken and a little crouton right there on the edge. There you go, it's kind of a big bite, so here we go. Do you feel a star, Do you feel a star going? <laughs> that is a pretty good salad, guys. Now, I do like the creamy mushroom dressing. It almost tastes like a like a uh, Caesar salad. It's, it's tart in that way, and uh, <laughs> I do love the chicken too, it's pretty good. This is a salad I would get again. Now, if this is for a child, I think they're gonna love it too, because it's very tasty, it's got a nice flavor. And then those star croutons, guys, look at this, come on. <laughs> if I was a kid and my parents gave me that, I'd be like, yes. Just I for, that just for him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I like it, guys, it's a great <laughs> dish. You should taste it for yourself. Delicious cupcake. Isn't that so pretty? Look at the So glass. pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. Hopefully the camera's picking up how bright pink this is because it's so so cute. It is very bright pink. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and the camera I think is doing a pretty good job picking it really? up. Good. <laughs> so here I have a princess peach cupcake. It's a foam bedded cupcake with buttercream frosting glitter and princess peach chocolate cream. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna dig in. That's the bad thing about having like very pretty food is that you're you, you don't, don't want to ruin it. Yeah, you don't want to ruin it. <laughs> you want to make sure you got all the pictures, all the video. Yeah. Here we go. So I'm gonna make a little cut here. Well, look at the uh, down here. It's like a little birthday yeah, it's cake. It's like a funfetti cake. Wow. I'll tell you what though, Princess Peach knows how to party. Here we go. Look at this. It almost reminds me like at the end of Mario 64 where Princess Peach baked yeah. the cake for Mario. Yeah. <laughs> Very similar to that. <laughs> My whole life I've been wanting to know how it tastes. Maybe this is it right here. Some of that frosting on top. That's a lot of icing. <laughs> oh my goodness. That strawberry filling and the Funfetti ice cream are like a good pair. I will say this, this is a very sugary dessert. A lot of it is mostly icing, so if you don't like icing, this is not for you. I'm an icing girl and I love icing. After one of these, you might be jumping around and getting those Goombas. Mm. Okay, so right here we have the Mount Beanpole Cake. Now it's a multi-layered Italian cookie cake with matcha mousse. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> now, picture yourself as Mario jumping over this and jumping on the flag, and then it'll go doo -doo 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 -doo. I would always want to get like the tippy top. But I always end up like right in below. <laughs> I can do it, but not all the time. Look at this. This is so cool. I'm, oh my goodness. Here we go. Let's take a bite of this. Take a bite of the little tiny one first. <laughs> Sorry guys, I messed it up. 
All right, this is very tasty. Now, what I do like about it is that the bread is kind of like a Neapolitan. It's very sweet in that way. And the matcha cream is subtle. It's a little sweet, and it does have that nice taste of matcha, almost like a, like the taste of frosting it tastes like, but in, in matcha flavor. I think this is one of my favorite things. It's dense, but it falls apart in the mouth. Beautiful. I know I destroyed it. I'm sorry. I <laughs> know. But I think it's my favorite thing here at the uh, Toadstool Cafe, and it's all thanks to Chef Toad. He made something delicious, and I hope soon he shares the recipe because this is something I would want to take home or make at home, I guess you could say. <laughs> Very good. And by the way, again, I'm sorry it looks bad, but it was just delicious. So I asked the team member if you can take these home. They said, yeah, these are yours to keep. So cool. They're little souvenirs for you, and they're absolutely free. Well, you got to pay for the food first. But after that, the yellow souvenir. So I also got the question mark block tiramisu. It's a flavored tiramisu block cake. Look how cute that is. It's very pretty. Now I spoke to a guest and he had a star and I had the fire flower. And another one had like a toad or the power up. And I think that's why it's called the question mark thing. Cause when you It's a it, surprise box, right. everyone gets a different one. But I got the fire one. <laughs> so cool. You got fire flower power. Mm-hmm. Best one. Here we go. How do we eat it? Just Do that. That's a that's a toughie to eat. I know. I'm a tiramisu lover, and this is one of the best tiramisu I've had in a long time. The tiramisu or like the the bread soaks up that like that juice or like that that coffee espresso flavor so well. You have the cinnamon right on top. I'm gonna try one of these little biscuits. This is the best tasting tiramisu I've had in such a long time. Oh my goodness. I almost don't want it to finish. I want it to be a bigger block because it's so yummy. If you're looking for a dessert here at Super Nintendo World, I say either get what Mid V got or what I got. Princess Peach is really cool, but it's a lot of icing. But this one is just right. See, I'm gonna skin. Oh no, you scan. See. You will scan your band on a little gift. I have a bunch of coins. <laughs> So not only do they have delicious food for adults, they also have very tasty food for kids, and that's what we're going to show you next. I just love the vibes in here. I love the decorations, the color, the sights, the sounds. Up there you can see the, the little life up coming down the pipes. It's so cute. Ah, I'm obsessed. <laughs> I just love these themed restaurants. I wish Universal Studios had more of these. Because once you come inside Toadstool's Cafe, it just feels like you're inside a little like tree, you know? Like they built it themselves. It's so cute. Ooh, Ooh that looks yummy. Is that a yogi salad, guys? Yes. <laughs> you got the adventure. Thank you. There we go. Look how pretty the plates are. Wow. Yes. Thank you. Kids meal. That's so cute. It's a power of spaghetti marinara. It has spaghetti marinara sauce. These little buttons, they look like buttons, but they're probably Jean Crisps. And it comes with a garlic knot and a cute little toy surprise. And inside, you guys, wait, look. No it's a little way. coin! How cute is that? That's oh so my goodness. cool. I love how they gave you a little toy for the kids' meal. That is so cute. I love that. Look at the long noodles. <laughs> Let me see if I can like. I know it's just spaghetti and marinara sauce, but wow, that is like practical. The flavor, the marinara sauce is like, like earthy, robust, fresh. I'm gonna try one of these crisps. Now I've got the firepower. What is that? A firepower? Oh yes. These kids meals are it. Oh my goodness, they're so fun to eat. Definitely something the kids will love. All the adults, whoever. Look how long these noodles are, though. It's like a never-ending noodle. They keep going. Yeah, definitely something a kid will love. And watch out, you might get messy, so try not to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is the Mario Mini Burger. Look at how cool this looks. It's very nice. It has a little Mario right on top. I love that. You got fries, corn on the cob, some broccoli. And Janelle thought this was a toy. And after further 
investigation. <laughs> it's actually a cookie. It's a coin cookie. That is very cool, guys. I'm gonna eat that later. Love these meals. I think Disney needs to get on board with making kids meals like this because this is second level. Okay, wow, so it's just a regular cheeseburger. Nothing extra, just lettuce, your patty, some American cheese. Okay. These burgers are pretty good. I like them a little bit more than the Krusty Burgers upstairs. And I love the char taste. It almost tastes like a burger you'd get off the grill. It's pretty good. It's something that you'd have at a barbecue. And then I love the fries, the little crinkle fries. <laughs> the little bit of garlic taste. These are great meals and I love the plates. I love the theming. Isn't that cool? That's a little <laughs> gold coin cookie. Let's take a bite. It's white chocolate and on the inside is a little Oreo. If you want to give the kids something tasty, this is doing it right. So I also got myself the Yoshi favorite fruit and veggie salad. It has mixed greens, star fruit, strawberries, blueberries, mushroom, tomato, Yoshi egg croutons, and raspberry vinaigrette, and star fruit. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. Just fruits and veggies. Let's see how it tastes. Look how cute these little croutons are, by the way. <laughs> That's I want to make croutons like that at home. Can you imagine how cute? They're little Yoshi eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if this gets messy. But they do say if it's the messier the better. So cheers. Out of all the salads that we had here, I think the Yoshi fruit veggie salad is the best one. I just love how fresh the fruit is, especially that vinaigrette. It's not like a like a very like vinaigrette dressing. It's more like a sweet dressing, which is really nice. Then you have the cute little croutons. Look how cute! That is the best part, I think. And I just love the fact that it's very colorful and vibrant. That's mm -hmm. what makes a dish. I think this is Yoshi's way of sinking in some fun foods, you know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but healthy way. <laughs> Usually not the fruit salad kind of guy, but you know what? I just tried this and I definitely think I would get it again. The fruits are good. I love the strawberry. It's got a nice little strawberry syrup taste and the vinaigrette is sweet. That's good, and less, like I said, I'm not a solid person, but that, that stole my heart. <laughs> Into the One Up Factory we go. Thank you. I have Thank you. In here. <sighs> All right, Janelle, we're inside the One Up Factory. Yeah, so it's so warm in here. Outside is like kind of cold. It's a little but chilly. It's nice and toasty in here. I love it. <laughs> right, let's take a look at this really cool toy here. This is a Yoshi stack game. You can grab all your Yoshis and stack them up like this, like stack, play, and display. I really like this. This is $35, and they have it here at the 1UP store. <laughs> so we came inside the 1UP store, and we were looking around to find some things that we can just give away to you guys because we love you, and we're very thankful for you guys watching our videos. And we got ourselves one of these right here. Look at that. There's a little Chef Toadstool. He's a little plush. And then on this side here, we have a little Babam. <laughs> And we're gonna give them away, guys. There's two giveaways, one and one. And all you have to do is let us know who your favorite Super Nintendo World character is, or any Super Nintendo character in general. It doesn't matter what game, just let us know. <laughs> wow, they had such great food inside the Toadstool Cafe. Yeah, it was all very yummy. Yeah, everything was so delicious, especially, especially that tiramisu cake. Oh my, oh my gosh, goodness. so good. I really enjoyed the spaghetti, but man, it's got a kick, so be careful. Yes, I just wish they had like a, like a version of like, Spicy, like mild, medium, or spicy. Yeah, where you could pick the heat. Yeah, that would have been awesome to like <laughs> enjoy and yeah. have fun. But guys, we just want to say thank you for watching. We love you. I hope you guys subscribe and I hope you guys like. Yes. Remember, let us know what your favorite Super Nintendo character is. But we're going to see you guys here next time on, on Magic, Magic Journeys. Journeys. Bye. Bye.